Hello and welcome to The Builder's Bench, where we break down common issues with today's automatic transmissions. With me here is Reno Partipillo from ATSG, who's our technical expert for this video series. Great to be here, Alex. So today we're talking about the GM6040 transmission, and particularly the third generation of this transmission, which came out in 2015. Uh, so what do you have for us, Reno? All right, Alex. On this generation three, we're gonna look at something in there, but I wanna tell you one thing that they did that they did do with this transmission or why they did this for this transmission. They did this to make the transmission more durable, also to because of the more powerful engine that they have and better fuel economy, okay? One of the major changes they did with this thing was the pump on there, okay? The earlier style was a positive displacement pump with an internal and external pump gears on there. So the torque converter would actually just turn the two pump gears on the transmission. So now what they decided to do was go to an off axis pump. All right, so um, are there any issues that go along with this change to the pump? Yes, there are. Okay, there are some issues that have gone on with this thing and one in particular. A shop might see one of these comes in with very low mileage on there and have a problem moving forward and reverse due to low line pressure. Now that can be checked by putting a pressure gauge on this thing. Now, when we take the transmission apart because of pressure being low on there, all has the telltale signs of transmission pressure being low. Now we've had many issues on these things to where the pressure regulator valve would actually get worn out and then get stuck in the open position that would dump line pressure. That is one problem on there, but sometimes we need to look a little bit deeper, and that is actually taking the pump completely apart on there, okay? The pump is actually a little piece off to the side that the chain actually drives. On this third generation pump, there is no longer a pump vein ring to push the pump veins out to the cam. They went from a pump slide to where they call a cam now because the cam uh, the slide no longer removed, so they changed the name to a cam. Now, with no rings being inside there, it receives its oil from the center of the rotor that pushes the veins to the outside and to the cam. Once it's pushing the veins out to the cam, what happens is the veins end up wearing into the cam and sometimes can wear it unevenly. As you can see in this picture right over here, the cam actually gets worn out, and that is due to the veins not pushing against the, against the cam properly. And that's what's causing our lack of line pressure on these things. So it's no longer the time of just looking at a pressure regulator valve. We also need to take care of the pump at that time. All right, well, very good to keep that in mind, especially if you see one of these pumps come through your shop. And that is going to do it for this episode of The Builder's Bench. Be sure to tune in next time for more transmission technical tips. Thanks for watching.